video really wants to cover the admissions process as a number of people will email me at various times a year asking questions about what happens to them as part of this process. So the first thing for you to consider is you need to get your application into the UCAS uh, using the standardised form that they have and we start looking at those applications and to, uh, from September and the closing date is normally in about mid-January but I would seek information from the UCAS website in terms of their deadlines and application times. Once you've submitted that application what we will do is we will have a look through that and the main thing that we're looking at is to make sure you've got our minimum entry requirements. Further details about what they are or can be found on the BSc Honours Physiotherapy web pages and there you'll find details of the number of subjects you require and the type of subjects you require and they do vary from year to year so it's worthwhile checking there to see the most up-to-date uh, in entry requirements. Following looking at uh, submitting a UCAS application form, those who do meet our minimal entry requirements will be offered an interview and this is a really integral part of the admissions process. Everybody here who comes to interview will be considered on a level playing field. So whether you've got five A's or whether you've got four B's or whether you've got a mixture of A's, B's and C's, if you've met our minimal entry requirements, everybody's treated the same at the admissions process. So what happens on an admissions day? So you'll be invited, invited to come here on campus to RGU either for an entire morning or an entire afternoon. It starts with a, an overview of how the school is run, so the physiotherapy programme sits within the School of Health Sciences. So you get an overview from the head of school about the philosophy of our school and what you'd be expected as a student attending the School of Health Sciences at RGU. From then, you will be then taken to another room and we will hear some information about how the BSc Honours course is delivered here at RGU. What are the unique points about the physiotherapy programme? So there's a lot of information up front. There's also information provided on the day about accommodation here at RGU and also finance, which is particularly important for a number of our students in today's current climate. After that, it's the nitty gritty. So there's an interview for this course and it has a number of components. There's a one-to-one -one interview where we wanted to gain insight into why you wish to be a physiotherapist? What is it you know about the profession and why do you think that you're the right person to become a physiotherapist? There's also a group component where we're looking to see how well you engage with others and how well you work as part of a team as that is a key attribute of a physiotherapist in today's healthcare that you can work both independently and part of a team. The final part of the interview process is the practical component and here this varies in year on year to make sure that there's variety in this component of the interview but typically again this is you engaging with our volunteer patients and again we're looking to make sure that our applicants have the key attributes of a physiotherapist. So can they communicate with patients? Can they put patients at ease? Do they have a caring compassionate manner? As many of you will realise from having physiotherapy experience you never meet a quiet shy physiotherapist so we are looking to make sure you've got those key attributes. So hopefully that will give you an insight into how we deal with admissions on the day when you come. Following that everybody is given a score and therefore people who score above a certain level will be made an offer and unfortunately those that fall below that level will be given feedback on how they performed the interview. Following the interview you'll be contacted by the undergraduate admissions office and they will give you information about whether you've been successful in your application or whether there's some feedback and you could be considered for another year. Normally students are either given an unconditional or a conditional offer and students are entitled to ask for any feedback which they require for their further development and how they performed an interview. Another question I commonly get asked is whether physiotherapy students at this application phase should have physiotherapy experience. This is certainly desirable but not something we can make as mandatory because it varies between health boards as to whether students can get physiotherapy experience. But clearly having an insight into the range of where physiotherapists work, the type of patients we see is useful for the interview. Any students that haven't had any physiotherapy experience at time of interview, this would be made a condition of offer and something that we're happy to support students who have an offer in order to get some physiotherapy experience. Physiotherapy is about interacting with your patients and we have to treat patients from the youngest in our society to the frailest in our society and it all stops in between and it's important for us here at RGU that students have a good idea what they're letting themselves in for coming onto the programme and hence this early physiotherapy experience is an integral part of the admissions process but again we will offer you support in order to you to meet this learning need prior to coming on the course.